Day, and William Smith is here. And I say William Smith because uh, Director of Communications down at the uh, Cabell County Schools, Jed Flowers, told me, well, his friends call him Bill. And considering the fact that I had never met him, uh, I thought it was probably safe. We'll call you William until you, you tell me that we're friends. Are we Bill friends? Is, we're friends. All right, we're friends now. Bill is here. But that sounds much better. That sounds very, uh, you know, it sounds like we've known each other our whole life, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. First of all, I want to apologize for the way I look today. Uh, the diverter on the shower at the apartment that I'm renting right now apparently has uh, gone afoul, and uh, I had to take uh, what's, I believe, affectionately known as the sponge bath this morning. <laughs> so, uh, do you know anything about plumbing by any chance? Oh, no, do you don't want me to plumb. No? No. No, no. you're not that, no, uh, that no. type of person? I gave that up a long time ago. So, you're telling me then at your house when there is a problem with the diverter in your shower, you wouldn't break out the toolbox? I would be remiss if I did. I, last time I plumbed, I, I had the water, I broke a pipe and had to run down the steps to turn the water off in the house. It was a disaster. You're one of those people yes. then that when there is a problem at the house, we immediately pick up the phone and call somebody who knows what they're doing? That's the best thing to do. Is that, that's the that's thing. Do, do you nice mow your own grass by any chance? I, I do that. Yeah, do that. that's about as far as you're going. Yeah. As far as uh, <laughs> as far as that. how about sports? Are you a sports fan? No, I'm not. I, I uh, don't follow them too much. So if you have the remote in your hand and you're sitting on the couch in the evening in your house slippers and you go by the World Series, the Yankees and the Phillies, you could care less and you just keep on moving. That's right, right till I find a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> what is a good movie? Tell me a good movie you've seen lately. Oh, uh, let's see. I like old movies and and I like tearjerkers. I think. Um, the last time I saw one, let's see. I Are you to, a chick flick kind of a guy? Occasionally, I like that. Is that right? I like Is that right? Kind of, yes, yes. Uh, uh, irreconcilable differences. I've seen. I've seen that recently. Yeah, and I yeah, kind of like yeah. to revisit. Yeah, but you have a favorite TV show? Do you find yourself stopping and uh, and and being enchanted by something week after week after week? The crime scenes, crime scenes, and and uh, criminal minds. Is that right? Yes. Is that right? Now you are a, you are a born and bred Huntington. We were just talking off the air. The thing with uh, the the thing that I like about uh, Bill being the superintendent of the Cabell County Schools is you know this system pretty well, don't you? Yes, I've been in several positions in the system, so I kind of have an, a feel for most of uh, most of what we do. And and I want to point out the fact that uh, Bill not only is a superintendent of schools, uh, grew up in the system. You, you've done a virtual. You didn't just walk into that position. You kind of worked your way right on up, didn't you? I started as a classroom teacher, and uh, after that, I went to the central office as the supervisor for gifted programs. Mm -hmm. uh, from that, I moved to uh, a coordinator of federal programs, which is the uh, largest federal. Uh, Budget in the uh, in the country, and that's uh, that must that must have made you nervous. Oh, that was uh, that's when you're rich. And you you can do a lot of things for schools. It's kind of like the research and development arm of a school system. So you went home and you you went home and you told the family, "What did I do?" Is yes. that what you're trying to tell? <laughs> that's <me>? correct. <laughs> <laughs> was it? And so that wasn't your favorite job in the whole. Well, world, that's right? that was pretty good. That's a pretty good job. That's yeah. one that you can do a lot of things for a lot of different yeah. things for people. The one of the most difficult do jobs I did was personnel. I worked in personnel for about a year, a little more than a year, and that's the one that we had the cycle where student, where pe teachers had to be moved around. Um, so you're telling a teacher who has been at a school for a number of years and has gotten very accustomed to being at that school that suddenly she's not going to be at that school that's anymore. That's correct. The job is open again, yeah. and uh, that is not an easy thing. What happens basically is on trick-or-treat night, all of those people that he moved around come over and soaked your windows. Is that what you're trying to <laughs> tell me? That's where you keep your, your address uh, incognito for a while. <laughs> you can't find Bill. You don't know where yeah. he's at, uh, anything. So so once the personnel uh, uh, job uh, left you, then... Th is that when you immediately became the, the assistant superintendent? The assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction. And, and worked your way right on up to the top. That's and how great. has that been, by the way? I, I, obviously, there are good days and bad days, I'm sure. I actually, I really enjoy coming to work every day. There's so many things that you can see that the, the uh, fruits of your labor. Uh, when you go in and watch the kids uh, in their learning environment and watch the teachers uh, as they learn how to do different things that work for the 21st century, and how excited they get about it! It really is a very rewarding job. Mm -hmm. did, did you uh, did you ever dream in your life as a superintendent of school, and not just you, but all superintendents all across the country uh, are, are facing the same? Did you ever dream you'd be dealing with this swine flu thing? No, I think I know more. It's ugly head. I, I had no idea that this would happen. In fact, I know more about the flu and flu viruses than I've ever known before, and it's been a, a really good learning experience. But this is one I think that caught many people off guard. 
that a, a flu would target the school age population. Usually it's it's very young and, and the very old, and this mm-hmm. is one that is uh, targeted the school age population, and it brings a whole set of dynamics that uh, we, we were not equipped to deal with. But what I, I have to say about this that we worked with the health department, and we've been working actually with the first responders for more than three years, um, just anticipating this possible an, a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Uh, at, at first we were thinking of the variant flu, uh, and as swine flu came in, we were actually in touch with and had had relationships with all the first responders, including the health department. So that's been very helpful. So you know a lot about uh, the swine flu, uh, but you don't know a lot about plumbing is basically what that's we've, right. what we've learned, right? right? That's You're right. not a plumber. Not a plumber. Never will be a plumber. <laughs> Bill Smith is here, superintendent of the Cabell County Schools. We're back in a moment, 742 on Magic 97.9.